the one reason why most young people die early. Don't get me wrong, I didn't say all young people, but I said most young people die early at their young age, especially in 21st century. It's been almost 30 years that I exist on planet Earth. During this time, I have lost family members and good friends of mine at their age of 20s and 30s. Probably you've also known this loss and you know what it's like to lose a young person full of dreams and passion. May their gentle souls rest in perfect peace. Let's take a second of silence to remember and honor them. That's it. Thank you so much. All right. In the olden days, thousand years before Jesus, people lived up to their age of 150 years, 200 years, 300 years. It was possible. As time went on, lifespan of mankind started shrinking because of change that the world has known. The world, as well as people in it, has known change, transformation, throughout years good and bad transformations and one of those bad transformations is lack of obedience and honor towards parents that is what is causing the issue that is what is causing many young people to die at their young age in 21st century children and parents have become friends familiarity has entered among fathers mothers and children that's not bad but that is what is making children to believe that they have a certain power to disobey and dishonor their parents. It's so simple. Every time you hurt your father or your mother, God is removing your days on the planet Earth. Every time you disobey or dishonor your father or your mother, God is shrinking your lifespan. That is the nature's law that many people don't know. Let me tell you this. If you plant granite, you will definitely harvest granite, the nature's law. If you disobey and dishonor your father and your mother, you will not live long on planet Earth, the nature's law as well. I know it may sound stupid what I'm talking about, but even the Holy Bible says, children, obey your parents according to the law because that is fair. Honor your father and your mother. That is the first commandment with a promise so that you can be happy and live long on the earth. So who gave that promise? Who has the power to extend or shrink lifespan of a human being? God alone. Meaning that if you want to be happy and live long, obey and honor your parents. If you don't want to live long and you don't want to be happy in life, disobey and dishonor your parents as simple as ABC nowadays it has become normal for children to argue with their father to insult their mother to even refuse to render a service to their parents it has become normal to drink alcohol to smoke where your parents are to bring your boyfriend or girlfriend where your father is to even kiss in street what about if your father is passing by it has become normal to go out without asking permission from your father you are still living with your parents and you go out with friends you come back at 11 in the evening and your mother has to open the door for you your father the chief of the house is sleeping already so you have become a chief to come and disturb them it has become normal for children to wear or put on some types of exotic clothes in front of their parents to have a certain way of talking or responding to their parents to go to places that don't honor their parents. It's normal for a son to impregnate a lady. She comes and lives with you in your father's house. It's normal for you, a daughter, to get pregnant of someone that your parents don't know. And sometimes to even come and stay with your children in your father's house. Nowadays, it has become normal for a child to quit school or the training center knowing that their parents want them to go to school and to get trained, knowing that their father still have money to support their studies. It has become normal to follow bad companies or bad friends 
that your father is forbidding you to hang around with. It has become normal for children to even slap or beat their parents. This generation is really cursed by God. And I wonder how generations to come will be. With all these bad things that we do to our parents, you still want to be happy in life and live long on the earth. Disobedience and dishonor is causing a lot of people to die very early, to die at their young age. It's causing a lot of accidents and trouble in the world. It's causing enemies, fights, troubles, rape and violence in the world. It's even causing people to get diseases that they would never get if they obeyed their parents. And who are your parents? Your parents are not only those who gave birth to you. You may be an orphan, but your tutor is your parents as well. Your big brother, your big sister, your uncle, who is taking care of you right now, is your parent. You have to obey and honor them. Obeying is different from honoring. And to avoid dying early, to avoid dying at your young age, you have to learn how to obey and how to honor your parents. Now, how do you obey and honor your parents? How do you know whether what you are doing is honoring your parents or not? Hmm, difficult to answer, right? In my next video, I will be teaching you what it means to obey and to honor your parents. Just make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks a million for watching this video. That was your humble brother, Vala Kim, the Black Motivator. Peace.